wanted to give a quick shout out to one of the supporters of the channel. She always, always, always sends me box tops. And if you guys don't know, my kids do competitions every single month. It's not really a competition, but they just try and fill up um, one of these. And um, there needed to be 25. And uh, yeah, she never disappoints me. On top of this, they usually get a second sheet. So my kids usually fill up two of these sheets a month. And it is, if you guys don't know anything about box tops, it's basically, I think it's 10 cents. Yeah, 10 cents a box top. And it allows the school. And my kids' school is very... Um, a low income school because we just have so many apartments near us so um i think they don't even have that many gym equipment like they don't even have enough balls to do groups for the kids so thank you so much i just wanted to give you a quick shout out thank you so much for the box tops um i try and do every little thing i can and that includes saving these box tops and getting this filled out for the children thank you guys so much for watching Hey y'all, just wanted to show you a quick little idea. I know a lot of people commented. I got this at the um, 99 cent store and it's spinach and artichoke rice. So yummy. So I'm going to cook it in here. I had a big old thing of artichoke bird's eye um, that I purchased from the 99 cent store. I'm the only one that really eats artichoke, but I'm going to see if the family will eat it. So you've got to add milk, water. I added some cilantro um, and then um, a big old thing of frozen artichoke. They even have like the canned artichoke or in the jar. I'm going to mix this up and put it in the uh, Instapot and see how it turns out. Welcome to my channel. I did want to show you some organization skills today and something that I organized and went through. Check the dates and all of that fun stuff. So I do have, and this is all that I have left of mouthwash in my stockpile. It may not seem like a lot to a lot of people, but we go through mouthwash um, very slowly. So I've got three of the big old bottles of scope. I got these free couponing and I think the same with these as well. And those two of those Crest Pro Health and then I got a couple for the kids um, as well. So yeah, that's all I've got. And of course, I'm just using an old Dollar Tree bin that I was going to throw away, you know, ones that end up like this and uh, you're about to throw away. Use them. And I store this actually under the bathroom sink these products I used to store under the bathroom sink. However, my kids were going to get toothbrushes and using them to fight with like swords, you know, the vibrating ones and ones that make sound and music and all that. They thought they were toys. So now I currently hide the toothbrushes and toothpaste in my room in one of these bins and I store it right here in that little cubicle. So let me just show you how I have it organized. These are all what's left of the battery operated toothbrushes. There's Hello Kitty and Monsters Inc. And then these is these are what are left of the other ones. Most of these I got couponing. Um, I had like three or four of these kind of bags. Yes, I about killed my children. Um, because they ruined, and I even found toothbrushes in toy boxes. So, um, I could definitely use some more toothbrushes. So, I'm liking doing some of these videos with you guys because I'm actually able to go through my stock. And, uh, because you guys know I took a, a several month break from couponing just because, uh, space is very limited. I'll show you what I ended up doing here. Excuse the mess, you guys. Those are Dollar Tree bins down there. And, uh, yeah, because what was happening is I was having to dust every little bottle and, um, yeah, it just got too bad. So like dusting every single bottle. So I've been storing in these bins and bins over there. Like I said, you guys, it is a mess in my room. I'm over here organizing, so excuse the mess. Um, so I've got two freezer bags of toothbrushes left. And then, you guys, 
Let me see if I can move this. This is what's left in my toothpaste. Now, I was storing it in the boxes. And because some of the reason I stored it in the boxes is because I did, uh, I was for a while selling bundles of like, um, you know, products that I got couponing or really good deals on. I was selling bundles. Um, I stopped doing that because, um, I don't know. I just have a weak heart. I'd rather just give it to people. If you really need it, then you take it from me, you know, um, especially if you have children. But anyway, so these are for my family. So this is all I've got left in toothpaste and, um, the expiration dates are right here printed on the toothpaste. They're all pretty much the same end of 2019 and middle of 2020. And so I've got some Sensodyne in here, a couple boxes left, some Crest. I do have some more sample toothpaste in my um, travel bin and I have some kids. So that is all I have left. Um, however, I don't like to stock too much on toothpaste because um that is something i don't think because it it i have uh stocked on toothpaste and try to use it way after the expiration date and it was separated it was just nasty and something that goes in my mouth um i don't know i even tried to google you know different uses for expired toothpaste it, toothpaste but I ended up just throwing them away and the whole point of couponing or budgeting or buying things you know uh, on sale and cheaply is you know you get a bang for your buck not to throw it away so I'm not sure um, maybe one or two every now and then if the expiration dates uh, for the toothpaste till 2021 um, but I probably am not going to be picking up that much toothpaste um because i just don't want to waste it i want to go through these but i do have them stored in little bags since i took them out of the boxes and then um this is actually was a gift to frank uh and he gave it to me. I think a bank customer gave it to him. But it's a ceramic coffee mug. And inside. And I wanted to show you guys this. Because I don't even know if I'm going to keep it. Um, I may re-gift it or give it to a teacher. Because this is really cute. This would be a great teacher gift. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys this idea. Um, they put little Trader Joe's instant coffee packs. Some tea, some little coffee, and some little stirs, stir thingies, I think. Yeah. And they put it in here. What a cute little gift. It's just if we're not going to use it, I'd rather, um, you know, re-gift it. I'm not sure where the cup is from, but yeah. So I have that in here just because I have no place for it. And then I did want to show you guys... These, what I picked up from Grove, if you're not familiar with Grove, I have a link down below. You will get five free products on your first purchase, as well as 60 days free VIP, which means 60 days of free shipping and uh, all kinds of fun stuff, benefits for um, Grove. But these, they are, uh, they were th on sale. I like to order when the stuff's on sale, like really, really cheap. These were $3.99 for two of them. And these are just basically the reusable, um, you know, Ziplocs. And this is the color I got, but there's many different colors. There's Grove Col Collaborative. But I wanted to show you how big it was because when I made the video, um, it doesn't, it didn't show how big it was. Look how big it is. Like this is the one of the big, um, you know, cubicle, whatever you call it. And it's the size of that. So, hold on. <laughs> See, and then I wanted to show you guys the amount of space. They have snack size, um, all different sizes, but I really love those. And I like to show you guys um, reviews on products I buy. Another tip on organization. So I know how to make really cool necklaces and bracelets. I used to make them all the time out of this uh, string. I'm not sure what you call it. Um, or I forgot. I used to have it. I used to be 
all organized. I have it on this little ring and used to use these little things. Like, I haven't done this in years. wonder if there's any made in here so I can show you guys how they look. Mm. Is this one made? Oh, here we go. So the thing, I used to make these in school. So if you're watching and you went to school with me, do you guys remember these? So the deal is um, I make them into, and it's not really focusing, but um, you guys see the, but I'm sure a lot of you guys know how to make these. And you can make them with as many colors. But I, they used to be like our friendship necklaces. So we used them as necklaces. And uh, we make a wish in school. And when it fell off naturally, our wish came true. So then when I got older, I made these as bracelets. Actually, um, Frank had one when we first got together. I made him one. And... Uh, he made a wish. He said his wish came true. I don't know if that's true, but um, he has it in his jewelry bin. So it's just a nice keepsake. They stay on for a while. You don't take them off. You don't. You shower with them. You really just tie a knot. And I used to make these all the time, and this kind of makes me want to make them now. But um, yeah, so here's again with the pencil box, you guys. So um, and then also another tip. I used to get Ipsy. And, uh, unfortunately, I did have to cancel, but I have a ton of Ipsy bags. And, of course, I saved some of them for my purses, the real cute ones, but there were some that weren't so cute, like this one. I don't know. I'm just not into this, like, yellow. Um, it's just not cute to me. It may be cute to you, but it's not to me, so this is not one that I'd put in my purse. So, I store... more string in there and I just threw in some glitter glue sticks when I was making the ugly sweater but um for Christmas but yeah there's more in here and I just put them in a bag and it's basically extras and then I stored in here so yeah guys there's so many items that you can use from your home to store things and organize things and um yeah wanted to show you here too this is all wax melts. Not a whole lot um, in there, but um, I definitely knew. See, that's why I like, I'm telling you guys, I like going through my stuff because I see what I need to keep on for. Because obviously I don't need to keep on for like shampoo and conditioner because I've got two bins fulls, that section, and that basket, half of that basket. So, um... Oh, and down there, there's some shampoos I can see. But, um, yeah, I like looking at everything organized so I know what I need to get and what I don't need to get. Anyways, you guys, I hope this gives you some ideas and motivation. I know that this has kick-started only in my dreams to do some organization, which is so cool. I love watching her videos as it is, but I love watching videos, especially if I inspired somebody, especially a fellow woman, mother of the YouTube community. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Bye! So I'm just wanting to show you what I'm doing. I'm reorganizing my kitchen. I did get rid of, as you can see, my trash is full, the toaster. Because I thought we could just use the air fryer. We don't even use a toaster anymore. Plus, it was like $10, and it's real dirty now for, like, cleaning it. So, I'm not going to even donate it. I'm just trashing it. This right back here, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. It's just I'm using what I have on stock. Sorry, guys, I had to get the kids to turn on the TV because I could not hear myself talk. So that is just a box, like um, a um, leftover United States Postal Service box that, um, you know, that I got friend mail in. And I just used the backdrop that you put, like, above your stove from... The Dollar Tree, I just wrapped it. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it like that. And I just put all my... Because I don't have cabinet space, you guys. I live in a very small apartment. So I didn't want just a box up there. May get something later. But I needed something sturdy. So um, that's what I did. And then I just cleaned all back there. But that's where I'm at. 
You guys, this, you need more? Yeah. Okay, yes, sir. And, um, but yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm going to take all those spices down, clean up there. But, um, yeah, happy organizing. I got a Grove Collaborative box today. Don't you guys love when you get your Grove orders and you're all excited? So let's see what I got. So I did get some 7th generation toilet paper. There is, what is it, 12 rolls in here. And I'm very excited to try it. They also have a Grove brand and I think another brand. Um, if you guys don't know about 7th generation and all the items from Grove, they're all natural. And as you can see, whitened without chlorine bleach and 50% use recycled. So helps save over 2,400,000 trees. So I'm very excited to get this. It is my first uh, all natural toilet paper that we're, our family's ever going to use. Sorry, you guys, somebody was knocking on my door. But yeah, it's the first toilet paper that we're, my family's not going to only use. It's our first toilet paper that's all natural that we are going to give a try. And I will have to keep you guys updated. The next item I got and I wanted to try out for everyone is some seventh generation pads. These are chlorine, chlorine, chlorine free, chloron. I can't even say that word, you guys. There's 14 pads and the seventh generation products were on sale and I used my credits. That's why I wanted to get different products for you guys. I've never used um, seventh generation pads. So they do come individually wrapped. Sorry, you guys, I'm a stay at home mom. I've got kids all in the background. This is what the pad looks like. I will have to let you guys know as well, but I did, um, it is nice and sticky. So I will have to keep you guys updated on this product. In keeping with the seventh generation, I, I do only have, I think, one more wipe in my stockpile. I just went through some of these, and these were in my empties. Absolutely love the smell. Even Frank was like, gosh, I really like these wipes. I keep these by the toilet because when my boys uh, spill on the toilet seat and don't lift it up, I use these to clean, do a quick clean around the toilet. I do it every single day um, and then in between some. So my family really, really like these, so I had to get it again. It's Garden Mint. It's a wonderful scent. These ones I haven't tried, and this is the disinfecting ones. I'm not a fan of this smell. I can tell you guys that right now. Um, I did open them up, and I was like, eh, they do not smell anywhere near these ones. So these are about a 10 for me. These are about a four. So um, I'm going to keep these just under the, the uh, uh, kitchen sink. So when we are, um, hopefully, knock on wood, we don't get the flu or any bad colds, I will use, I will pull these out, but not for everyday use. I'm just not a fan of the smell, honestly, you guys. The next product I got with my credits is this stuff. Now, I already have it. I'm about halfway through, and it's a Miss Myers Lemon Verbena. Lemon Verbena is the only one that I've tried in the room um, freshener. I absolutely love this stuff. This is one of my top products from um, Miss Myers or Grove Collaborative. And I had to get a backup. And since I had some credits, I went ahead and threw this in. Even though I'm not done with my first one, I wanted that backup. Really, really like that. And then the last item is Aunt Fanny's. Now, this is my first product. Or no, this is my second. I do have the, um, I just haven't used it yet The um, for the fruit flies. But this is the Aunt Remedy. And it, oops. I hope I didn't break it now. You just shake it up, and as you can see, I'm just going to show you. Now, I have some ants on my kitchen counter. They're like brown ants, so I don't know what kind of ants, and it's only around my coffee pot. All my counters, my floors, nothing. They just come around the coffee pot. So I want to, and they're coming out of the socket, um, the, um, you know, where you plug in things. That's where it's coming out of, and it's going into the water, my, you know, on the Keurig, 
um, you know how there's a water tank they're just going into the water tank so it's basically they're coming out of the air sockets going into the water tank so I'm not even sure what kind of ants these are I did get some vinegar on a um, cotton ball and wiped around it the walls and the air socket but it's every day I have to go clean out my Keurig because there's ants in the water tank and like I said they're brown ants I don't know what kind but I did pick this up hoping this will help and since it is all natural and going to be I'm going to um, put it on my kitchen counters um, you know just on the the baseboards um, and then I'm gonna get a cotton ball I think and just wipe around all over the wall but I'm hoping this will work so this was a bit pricey you guys I think this was either $6.99 or $7.99 it is a large bottle they do have like um, roach ones regular different insect ones the ant one powder ones all different ones i did smell it it smells like um mild peppermint it has it does not smell anything like bug sprays and my kids have real bad allergies so um if we are to ever spray for bugs or anything like that we actually have to leave our home for a good several hours because um we just don't like the scents and the smells and like i said they start coughing and all that stuff so getting an all natural one i will have to let you guys know how it works out um on the ants and that's it you guys that's my grove um haul this month i am hoping i have some other stuffs in my cart that i really really want to try out but i'm excited to try out these products especially these four because i do try and get a lot of new products to give you guys reviews especially if you use my link thank you guys so much for using my link i want to uh, help you guys save money and do reviews on products so these four new products I'm gonna give you guys a review and then of course these two are repurchases if you guys aren't familiar with Grove if you use my link it's going to be pinned down below and in the description you get five free products for using my link as well as you get a 60-day free VIP membership and that is with free shipping you guys free shipping and then after the 60 days if you want to keep on going with Grove it's it's a $20 fee for an entire 12 months that $20 fee gets you free shipping for another 12 months so um, pretty pretty neat um, but like I said if you use my link you get 60 days uh, free anyways and you can try it out try out some of the products if you just want to go on there and get the free products and then cancel afterwards hey go for it whatever is fancy but I am loving it and I can't wait to review some of these products for you guys Hey you guys, it was requested that um, I show you guys the freebies that I got in the mail. Again, I used to do it all the time and have a video just of the freebies or the deals to sign up with or even friend mail. And they just weren't getting a lot of views and I stopped making them. So I am going to include it in this vlog just for some of those people that have requested it. Uh, the one item that I got in the mail is a late belated birthday card. Thank you mu so much, Stephanie, for your beautiful card. I really appreciate it. I did get some samples in the mail. And let's see here. Anti-stress drink mix. So... So it looks like it's a sample of a drink mix. I'll have to read up on it and a $5 off coupon. Pretty neat. So I got that. And then I got, um, I'm not even sure what this is. I kind of just opened it real quick and I was like, oh, I'm not going to even look at it. I'm going to save it for a video. So, okay. pre-vegan improves memory so this is something I requested a sample it looks like and it comes with a little pamphlet and a bunch of samples awesome so I've got chewable I got to of course read up on this but I've got 
got some chewable. Oh no, I got the, all the same. So four samples. Pretty neat. So I think the, the, the two samples that I received, I think those are something that I've signed up for. Now this was sent to me. Um, and let me pull it out. It was sent to me by a company because of my YouTube channel for review. Um, I've pulled it out, but I haven't put it in the vehicle yet. And they want me to write an Amazon review for them. Um, but I haven't tested it out yet, so I haven't gotten that far. Um, but basically what it is is for your cell phone. And it goes in the CD slot. So it comes with other settings to make sure it fits in your car. And, uh, yeah, so it's supposed to stay. And there's the different types. So I'm, of course, not going to do a review on my YouTube channel uh, for this. I don't think so. Um, just because they just sent me the product to do a review on their Amazon site. So, anyways, you guys, that is what I got uh, so far. If you don't know, I do sign up with many freebie sites. I used to do many videos on it. I just stopped because, like I said, the views um, weren't there at all. And I make about two cents per video. So it just wasn't worth my time of, you know, putting links and telling everyone and all of that. But I do use two different addresses on the freebie. So I pretty sure I got double all of this, um, at the in-laws. So I use my address and the in-laws. So anyways, you guys, I'm going to end the vlog. This was a week worth of clips. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know, comment down below if you are into videos like this instead of me just doing one video per, you know, review or per haul, things like that. Um, yeah, comment below, give me some feedback. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. And if you are new to the channel, Consider subscribing. I am making several videos and I've got several fun videos coming up and some exciting news later on. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.